Shield AI unveiled the XBAT VTOL stealth drone. And what they showed us in Washington wasn't just another prototype, a runway-free, tailless flying wing strike jet that launches and recovers vertically, carries fighter-class engines and air-to-air -air missiles internally, and is flown by an AI pilot built to operate when GPS and radios go dark. That combination alone rewrites a lot of assumptions about how air power can be projected from austere locations. Shield AI's announcement on October 21st, 2025 in Washington, D.C. introduced the XBAT as a Group 5 unmanned aerial system, the Pentagon's designation for the largest class of UAS with maximum gross takeoff weight over 1,320 pounds. The company displayed a scale model at the event and delivered clear messaging. XBAT was built to operate without runways, to be launched and recovered from a mobile trailer, and to perform long-range missions in communications-denied airspaces using the firm's Hivemind AI pilot. That combination, VTOL, stealth, and autonomous flight in degraded comms is what Shield AI calls the next generation of runway-independent air power. At a glance, the XBAT is a tailless, low-observable flying wing with folding wings, so it can be stowed on a trailer and readied for launch within minutes. Shield AI's computer renderings show a vertical rail lifting the airframe for a tail-first vertical launch, the aircraft transitioning to conventional forward flight, completing mission tasks, then returning for a vertical recovery, landing tail-down back into the trailer. That operational model is significant. It removes dependence on fixed airfields, allowing operations from trailers, commercial vessels, or expeditionary strips, an operational flexibility that buys survivability and strategic reach. Brandon Tseng, Shield AI's president and co-founder, framed XBAT as more than hardware. Air power without runways is the holy grail of deterrence, it gives our forces persistence, reach, and survivability, and it buys diplomacy another day. That's a succinct statement of intent. The platform is meant to increase options for commanders by keeping aircraft dispersed, mobile, and harder to target. Shield AI lists the aircraft at roughly 26 feet long with a 39-foot wingspan, a service ceiling above 50,000 feet, and an operational range exceeding 2,000 nautical miles. Maximum speed remains classified, though reporting indicates the jet will be supersonic and powered by an F-16 class engine, either a GE-110 or Pratt & Whitney 100, depending on the variant. The company also emphasized thrust vectoring technology derived from late 1990s programs like the F-15 Active and F-16 MTV, which suggests an emphasis on maneuverability and enhanced control during transition phases and in high-agility flight regimes. Weapons posture is also interesting. Shield AI showed renderings of internal carriage for AIM-120 and AIM-174B air-to-air missiles, and described an internal weapons bay capable of holding at least two weapons plus external hardpoints. That mix points to a multi-mission design, strike, ISR, electronic warfare, and even air-to-air -air capability in a compact, stealthy package. If XBAT can indeed carry internally two medium-range missiles and still maintain low observability, it becomes viable not just as a strike asset, but as a node in distributed air operations, a drone that can threaten both ground targets and hostile aircraft while staying relatively hard to detect. But perhaps the most disrupted element is autonomy through Hivemind. Shield AI's Hivemind is the company's combat-proven autonomy stack, already demonstrated on other systems and positioned here as the onboard pilot for XBAT. Hivemind's promise is to enable navigation, target engagement, and cooperative behavior in GPS and communications denied environments. In Shield AI's words, it allows the aircraft to fly solo or act as a drone wingman, collaborating and maneuvering with crewed fighters. 
That means the platform isn't merely remote controlled, it can execute complex behaviors, deconflict in dynamic airspace, and continue a mission if connectivity is lost. The company also notes that while HiveMind will be the default autonomy layer, the platform can support third-party autonomy software, an important nod toward interoperability for future customers. Integration paths with existing U.S. Air Force and Allied programs will be a key determinant of adoption. Notably, HiveMind has already been demonstrated on Kratos BQM-177 drones and is being integrated into other CCA prototypes, showing the code base is more than theoretical. Shield AI's roadmap calls for first VTL trials in fall 2026, with full system testing and operational validation aimed for 2028. The company declined to give hard pricing, but compared costs to other CCA platforms, with Aviation Week estimating roughly $30 million per airframe as a ballpark. Shield AI also said production and engine partners will be announced soon. Those industrial relationships will be critical. A trailer-launched supersonic, stealthy, AI-piloted aircraft demands supply chains, engine support, and sustainment plans that look very different from legacy tactical airframes. Operationally, Shield AI imagines XBAT operating from mobile trailers, Navy ships, or even commercial vessels. Concepts of operations that expand basing options and complicate adversary targeting. Five mobile launch trailers per aircraft, as reported, would provide redundancy and distributed basing that aligns with modern survivability concepts. If you can't protect a few bases, spread the fleet across many small, movable sites. There are, of course, open questions. Transitioning a tailless flying wing through vertical launch and recovery into high-speed supersonic flight is a formidable engineering challenge. Thermal, control authority, and stealth trade-offs during VTOL and transition phases require sophisticated integration of aerodynamics, propulsion, and flight control, especially when you add thrust vectoring and afterburning operation into the mix. The classified top speed and unannounced engine partner leave gaps in public assessment. Equally, the legal, ethical, and command and control frameworks for a highly autonomous weaponized aircraft remain a policy debate that will influence procurement and operational use. Still, from a capability perspective, XBAT's mix, runway independence, low observability, fighter class propulsion, internal weapons, and a combat-proven autonomy stack signals a potential shift in how Air Forces think about distributed strike and deterrence. XBAT delivers capabilities beyond the first increment 1 CCAs, including electronic warfare, greater payload capacity, and extended range, a claim that, if validated through flight testing, positions XBAT as a competitor or complement to current CCA efforts. Shield AI is betting that autonomy plus mobility plus survivable fighter class performance equals a new kind of industrially achievable air power, one that doesn't require a runway, can operate in denied environments, and can act alongside crewed fighters. Whether aviation regulators, warfighters, and allied partners will embrace that model remains to be seen. But for planners thinking about persistence, reach, and survivability in future fights, XBAT is a concept that demands attention. Small logistics footprint, large mission set, and autonomy baked into the airframe. If Shield AI can deliver on the engineering promises and integration timelines they've outlined, we could be watching the first practical deployment of truly runway-independent strike jets, and that would be a major step in the evolution of air combat. As militaries around the world push toward the age of autonomous warfare, Shield AI's work offers a glimpse into the future of combat, one defined not just by machines, but by intelligence, adaptability, and resilience under the harshest conditions. From room-clearing drones to swarming jet aircraft, the company's hive mind system represents a new kind of defense technology, one where every platform can think and act as a team. For Brandon Tseng and his team, this isn't science fiction, 
It's the next chapter in how America prepares for the wars of tomorrow. And as Trang reminds us, the goal isn't to replace the human warrior, it's to protect them by ensuring the machines they command are as capable, adaptable, and intelligent as possible.